Hello everyone. Welcome to English lesson. I am Mr. Kepova Alia and I work as a teacher in the Nimrod 5 school. Okay, students, let's start our lesson. Look at the picture, please, children. What can you see in this picture? Yes, right. They are boys. What are their names? Yeah, Jake, Robert, and John. They are very tall, aren't they? Yes, right. Especially Jake is the tallest. Robert is taller than John. So, children, on today's lesson, we'll be covering comparatives and superlatives. In this lesson, we will learn about what comparatives and superlatives are. To start, I need you to know something. Every time you compare in English, you must always use them instead of that. For example, she is more beautiful than flowers. Going to the beach is better than going to the mountain. I prefer soda than orange juice. See? Easy peasy. Let's start now. What are comparatives and superlatives? Well, comparatives are adjectives that compare only two things. It's like comparing cartoons and TV series. How to use comparatives? First, don't forget comparatives are used only to compare two things. The clue word for comparatives is more at an ER, which is an abbreviation of more at the end of the adjective. And if the adjective is too short, just duplicate the last letter. Then you would say something like, I was born first than my brother, so I am older than him. What you cannot say is, I am more old than him. This is not correct. It's like mixing the word more with the adjective. Let's make an example. Guess you're running against a friend, only the two of you. And then, you win. So, what would you say to your friend? Then, you told your friend, I am faster than you, which is correct. What you cannot say is, I am more fast than you. This is not right. Well, moving on. Superlatives are adjectives that compare more than two things. Like comparing three people to see which one is the oldest, the youngest, and the tallest. How to use superlatives? First, don't forget superlatives are used to compare more than two things. The clue word for superlatives is MOST, at an ESD, which is an abbreviation of MOST at the end of the adjective, and if the adjective is too short, duplicate the last letter. Let's make an example. Now, let's suppose you're running against many friends. And then, you win! So, what would you say to your friends? Then you tell your friends, I am the fastest runner, which is correct. What you cannot say is, I am the most fast runner. This is not right. Now, we're almost done, so let's see the exceptions. First, if the adjective is too long, more than two syllables, then you cannot use comparatives and superlatives. For example, Spanish grammar is more difficult than English grammar, or she's wearing the most beautiful dress I've ever seen. Second, if the adjective describes an absolute state, like perfect, unique, and uniform, you cannot use comparatives and superlatives. For example, Maggie had the most perfect score at the exam. And there are some irregular adjectives that change with comparatives and superlatives. There are five of them, which are good, bad, far, little, and many. And here you have the comparative form and the superlative form. Well, guys, my Children, hope you understood well. Okay, let's do some activities. Task number one. Write the comparative and the superlative form of 
the following adjective. Here given adjectives you should write comparative and the superlative forms. For example, tall, taller, the tallest. Children, pause the video and write down. Well done! The next task. Task number two. Look at the pictures and the make sentences. Motorbike, car, comfortable. For example, the car is more comfortable than motorbike. Children, pause the video and the write sentences. Awesome children. Today you worked very good. Nice job. Your home task children. Exercise 2, page 66 in your workbook. Lesson is over. Goodbye.